Could we possibly see Jake Paul fight ex-UFC legend Anderson Silva? The UFC president has reacted to the news of a potential match, but he didn't really seem that invested in it. Here's everything Dana White said on the subject, as well as what we know so far on the possibility of this fight. Starting with, what does Dana White think? MMA Fighting recently confirmed several reports that a matchup between Paul and Anderson Silva is being planned for October, although the fight is not totally official just yet. After DWCS Season 6 Week 6, White had a chat with reporters backstage at the UFC Apex, where he gave his two cents on the possible match. I don't give a about Jake Paul, but if he's really fighting Anderson Silva, if that's true, it's about time, White said. He's got a real fight on his hands there, regardless of how old Anderson is. Yeah, that's a real fight. White and Paul have been engaged in a long-running verbal war ever since the YouTube star started making himself known in the boxing world and going after both current and former UFC fighters. Paul currently has a knockout win over Ben Askren and two wins over Tyrone Woodley, ex-UFC welterweight champion. As of right now, White no longer has any interest in speaking about Paul, his boxing career, or anything else that's happening in his life. He even publicly stated that he doesn't want to answer any more questions related to the ex-YouTube star. He knows that Paul has a lot of star power, but he doesn't want anything to do with him. There was one interesting take he gave, however. He said he liked the fact that Paul might actually get to face a real champion this time, but he's also sick and tired of being asked about Paul. Next up, Anderson Silva has officially gotten his professional boxing license. Anderson Silva is all set. The ex-UFC champion was officially given his professional boxing license, meaning now he can fight in the state of Arizona. Arizona. The Arizona Boxing and Mixed Martial Arts Commission approved his license application, that too, with a vote that went by unanimously. This development comes after recent reports of a possible boxing fight he could have versus Jake Paul. For now, the fight is rumored to take place on October 29th, and it's going to be part of a Showtime pay-per-view. The former Brazilian star stated that he's been training really intensely every day, and he's doing everything he can to keep not only his body, but also his mind in good shape. He's looking forward to what comes next, now that he can play in Arizona. Coming up, a short look at their careers. Silva was the winner of two boxing matches since he left UFC, first taking a split decision from Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. after eight rounds before knocking out fellow former UFC champion Tito Ortiz in just 1 minute 22 seconds. Silva also looked formidable in an exhibition bout against Bruno Machado this past May. On the other hand, Paul, 25, is 5-0 as a professional boxer with a so far impressive resume. He knocked out Ben Askren and had two wins, one knockout and one decision over Tyrone Woodley. But we have haven't seen the YouTube star in the ring since his sixth round knockout of Woodley, which was all the way back in December 2021. Paul has earned himself plenty of naysayers who doubt his legitimacy as a boxer since he hasn't gone up against any traditional boxers, which is a pattern that's going to continue with Silva. The difference between these two, however, is that 47-year-old Silva has transitioned quite nicely in the squared circle since departing from the UFC in late 2020. Let's talk about why Anderson Silva is the perfect opponent. Jake Paul was already a rich and famous figure way before he even thought of becoming a boxer. Love him or hate him, you have to admit he's got his own special wit and he's business savvy on top of that. As you can imagine, those things also definitely help when you want to make a successful boxing career for yourself too, especially when it comes to pay-per-view fights. Name recognition is so important, and we can't think of any other fighters who get into professional boxing and have the ability to sell themselves to an audience like Paul could. There's plenty of resentment and jealousy among a lot of boxers given the money Paul's made during his short stint as a pro and the massive attention he's getting. He's barely proven that he's got what it takes to be a ranked fighter yet, let alone a champion. But he's far richer and more famous than almost all boxers right now. Paul is still a fresh, up-and-coming boxer, and he should be handled according to his strengths. But because he's also leading so many pay-per-view shows, his team has to be careful that they create a storyline which grabs attention towards the fight. That's a good reason that Anderson Silva would make a perfect opponent for Paul at this stage of his career. Finally, who would win? Silva is currently 47 years old, and even though he was one of the best fighters in MMA history, he ended ended his career on a pretty bad note. Throughout the previous seven or so years he spent in the UFC, he went 1-7 with a no contest. Before that string of defeats, he'd been the champion in 16 consecutive UFC fights, 17 in a row overall, and 18 of 19. After he was defeated by Uriah Hall, the UFC didn't even offer him a new contract. The former UFC fighter didn't want to quit, so he boxed twice. He won against former middleweight champion Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. through split decision in 2021 in Guadalajara, Mexico. And he also also knocked out ex-UFC light heavyweight champion Tito Ortiz during just the first round last year. Seems like he's not ready to hang up his gloves just yet. He's got some fight left in him. Silva is a striker, and even though he's not a boxer, he'd be a big improvement in that realm, better than anyone Paul has fought so far in his career. Silva would also be the most eye-catching name that Paul has fought, so he'd be a plus point on two different fronts. But that leaves us with the question, could Paul actually win against Silva? Well, it's at least
least somewhat possible. But he's still 47, and Paul is only 25. Come to think of it, if Silva was also 25, this probably wouldn't even be a question because Paul wouldn't stand a chance. Other related news. First off, what's the deal with UFC newbie Aylin Perez? If you thought the twerking from UFC newbie Aylin Perez was just a one-time random thing of the moment, then you were wrong. The Argentine fighter has been twerking way before her UFC debut, which took place at Saturday's UFC Fight Night 209 event in Paris. Through her exciting rise in South America, Perez has made quite a few heads turn with her amazing fighting abilities and vibrant personality when she's not in the ring. And at Friday's scheduled weigh-ins, Fiona gave the UFC fans a little teaser of what she's really about, and also what lies ahead for her UFC rise. In an interview with MMA Junkie, she revealed that she just enjoys twerking and that's her way of expressing joy. She also revealed that she's a dancer who's versed in many different dance forms, including bachata, salsa, and reggaeton. Dance is in her blood. She also talked about how her dancing and fighting are equally important to her. So far, she's been an absolute delight to watch both in and out of the cage, and we can't wait to see how her career unfolds. Fiona definitely adds some much-needed fun to the company. Coming up, Kamaro Usman talks about his defeat. The Nigerian fighter recently opened up to Joe Rogan on the recent episode of The Joe Rogan Experience and confessed he felt a sense of relief after having his belt snatched as he wasn't attached to it. It was hard for him to explain, but he said that there were way too many expectations on him and the pressure was way too much to handle. He added that he never went into his defense title fights thinking about how he must hold on to the crown, but rather he'd approach each of these fights like a championship bout where he was one of the two competitors. The Nigerian nightmare also revealed that he wasn't attached to the title. Kamaru also said that Leon Edwards put him to sleep and that he blacked out the 20 minutes after his knockout. He only remembered being woken when the paramedics were checking on him in the ambulance. Wrapping things up with the return of Francis Ngannou. UFC champion Francis Ngannou is aiming for a comeback in 2023 after having surgery to repair the ACL and MCL in his right knee in March. He talked about it and said that he's not quite as strong on that knee as he should be and admitted that he's pretty out of shape at the moment too. But he's planning on taking a trip to his doctor's office before starting the pre-training camp to whip himself back into shape. The 35-year-old's future prospects with the UFC are kind of vague for now. He has publicly talked about problems surrounding his contract, which is set to officially end this year. There's such big problems that he said he's not going to fight for the UFC under this contract anymore. We'll have to wait and see if he's offered a new one, but first, he has to recover and get back into shape. And that's a wrap. Are you looking forward to seeing Jake Paul fight Anderson Silva? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos in the future. Thanks for watching and see you next time.